I'm Commander Alan the Cruz. I'm the commanding officer of the Royal Navy's Fleet Diving Squadron. The Royal Navy's Clearance Diving Branch is responsible for delivering a range of specialist diving and bomb disposal capabilities to UK defence. What we deliver is unique and nobody else in the UK defence delivers it. The equipment is fundamental to everything that we do. We're expecting my divers to operate in conditions which are extremely challenging, often without any visibility whatsoever. Every moment that's spent in the water or close to an explosive hazard threat is absolutely key. If the kit fails, the operation fails. The Royal Navy has a number of methods to identify mines. At some point, we may choose then to commit a diver to the water to make either an identification of the mine or to dispose of it. So from entering the water, the diver will be expected to relocate the mine, whether it be on the seabed or whether it be in the water column, to make a manual approach and in some cases to physically recce the mine in order to confirm that it is what we think it is. Timing is fundamental to absolutely everything that we do. From the moment the diver enters the water or any time spent next to any explosive hazard threat is key to success on all of our operations. Timing is everything. Thereafter, we'd recover the diver from the water and if the decision has been taken that we wish to dispose of it, then we'd expect the diver to proceed back into the water column with explosives in order that we could countermine the explosive hazard threat and clear it from the sea. Fitness and endurance are the cornerstone of everything that we do. We're expecting Royal Navy clearance divers to operate, sometimes in no visibility, underwater, close to an explosive hazard threat. The right people, therefore, are necessary for that, so the training must reflect what we're expecting them to deliver on operations. So the Royal Navy clearance diving branch is the only branch in the whole of the UK Armed Forces that delivers clearance diving. So as a part of being the pinnacle of it, we are it. There is no other alternative to the UK defence. So success on operations wholly depends on the clearance diving branch being able to deliver everything that we're tasked to do by our operational commander.